Welcome to online video training for the CTI Workbench Integrated Development Environment. This is, Course 1, designed for beginning users, who have some previous experience programming PLCs in Relay Ladder Logic. There are, 8 parts to this course. The goals of this training course are as follows, understand the fundamentals of IEC 61131, and the basic concepts of Workbench. Create a project list, project, and programs, edit the project cycle, make a simple program and run it in the simulator. Write programs in ladder and function block diagram. Run your program on a remote target. Use the field bus editor to configure I.O., and exchange data with other systems using camp client, and data cache. Create a graphics visualization screen. Use built-in monitoring and troubleshooting tools, spy lists, trend charts, and the module web page. Learn to use password protection. This course is divided into eight parts. Part 1 is an introduction to Workbench. Part 2 covers basic concepts of Workbench. In Part 3 we'll get started programming, by making a simple program in Ladder Diagram. Part 4 goes into more detail on programming in Ladder Diagram, and includes sample exercises, that you can do at your own pace. Part 5 introduces programming in Function Block Diagram, and also includes exercises. In Part 6, you'll learn how to run a Workbench program on a remote target. Part 7 covers use of the field bus editor, to configure I.O., and peer-to-peer -peer communications. Finally, in Part 8 we'll learn about visualization and troubleshooting, downloading source files to the target, and password protection. Now, let's get started. Course 1, Part 1. Introduction to Workbench in IEC 61131. Running time. Six and a half minutes. Workbench is a modern PLC programming platform based on IEC standards. Capabilities of Workbench include Program editors for all five IEC languages, Relay Ladder Logic, Structured Text, Function Block Diagram, Sequential Function Chart, and Instruction List. A built-in simulator. Extensive monitoring tools, including charts, trending, and logging. Extensive online debugging tools, including full breakpoint and trace debugging. Full versioning and version control. Storage of program source files on the target. Password protection of individual programs, and the entire runtime. Built-in peer-to-peer communications between workbench projects, using the CTI network data exchange protocol, or variable binding. What is IEC 61131? and IEC standard for programmable controllers. Supports textual and graphical programming languages to provide best fit for each application. A single project may contain programs written in several different languages. Memory organization supports complex entities, i.e. data structures. Both logic and data is encapsulated into a single program unit, POU. This provides the local data concept where internal information cannot be modified by other parts of the program. Hierarchical design encourages duplication and reuse of proven software sections. Greatly enhanced control over execution cycle. What is included in IEC 61131? Nine parts, of which one, IEC 61131-3, is important for PLC programming. IEC 61131-3 covers programming languages, and provides the basis for CTI Workbench. It defines the basic programming elements, syntactic and semantic rules. And includes the graphical languages ladder diagram and function block diagram, and the textual languages instruction list and structured text. What are the advantages of IEC 61131-3? It's an internationally accepted standard. It saves you time since you only have to learn it once for different controller types. The functions and function blocks are standardizing across different implementations from different manufacturers. The resulting software is more modular and reusable. And it provides the best language for each problem. The programming languages supported by Workbench include Instruction List Structured Text Function Block Diagram Ladder Diagram And Sequential Function Chart Ladder Diagram, also commonly known as RLL is based on the well-known U.S. style of programming. 505 Workshop is an implementation of RLL. 
It is intuitive for many technicians and easy to learn. Functions and function blocks can be called in ladder networks. And a jump instruction is included for controlling program flow. Instruction list programming uses a single accumulator based execution model, and looks like AWL, by Siemens. It has a limited instruction set with one operation per line. It is similar in many respects to assembly language programming. Instruction list programming is not covered in this training course. Structured text is a high level language, which resembles BASIC. The special function programming language used in CTI and Somatic 505 CPUs is an implementation of structured text. It is ideal for complex math operations and nested instructions. It supports conditional execution, using if and else, repeat until, and while do, or case. It is often the easiest language to debug because the programmer can determine the complexity of each statement. Structured text is considered the base language of Workbench. Function block diagram is a graphical language, which is widely used in Europe. It's very similar to an electrical schematic. Lines between blocks to pick data, or signal flow. It can be used in many Boolean logic and closed loop applications. It's ideal for continuous processes. Applications involving sequencing, or states, are better solved using SFC. Sequential function chart, is a graphical language which provides a representation of program sequences, in flowchart form. The basic elements of SFC are steps, and transitions. Steps consist of a piece of program that is carried out until the condition specified in the transition, is met. SFC allows programming of complex tasks, by dividing into smaller parts. Each element can be programmed in any IEC language. SFC provides a flexible and intuitive method for graphically programming sequences of actions in a control system. It's ideal for hierarchical top-down system design, since SFC provides an overview of the process, where operations of each state, and requirements for each transition, can be easily diagnosed. How do I choose a programming language? For ease of maintenance by the final user, use a sequential function chart. For universal language acceptance, use ladder diagram. For acceptance in Europe, use function block diagram or structured text. For speed of execution, use instruction list or structured text. For applications mainly using digital I.O. and basic processing, use ladder diagram or function block diagram. For ease of changing code, use ladder diagram. For ease of use by newer engineers, use structured text. For ease of implementing complex mathematical operations, Use structured text. For applications with repeating processes, or processes requiring interlocks and concurrent operations, use a sequential function chart. This completes Course 1, Part 1, Introduction to Workbench and IEC 61131.